I'm Bill Dowson. Right at this time, the mayor of the municipality, Blue Water, which was formed about uh, 14 years ago, putting together uh, a couple of, well, five really, uh, municipalities by uh, Hansel Zurich Bayfield and uh, Stanley Hay. We have a municipality here that uh, I'm very proud of and um, carries a lot of distinction across the county. The family arrived in Huron County to the best of our knowledge in around 18. Uh, 1833, 34, uh, at that time. Mostly, predominantly Irish and uh, English thrown in. I've never heard our family uh, discuss uh, much on Scottish uh, ancestry. The farm that they bought and back at that day when they come here was from the Canada Company. So they had uh, 10 years to pay for it and uh, they had to do so much work on it every year, so that kept their axes on the trees and the saws because they had to, they had to show the inspector that they had been doing something. Well, my ancestors, both sides, are, were very strong people in promoting Varna, this little hamlet, and uh, I, I can, I, I, I've seen the remnants of Varna, uh, where I can tell you where the old post office was, there was a bank, there was an undertaker, there was two grocery stores in early days, and uh, two gas stations, uh, a blacksmith, and there was everything in Barna that made a town village work. Well, the co-op was always in our blood, but my dad's youngest brother, uh, he was on the board of directors. Uh, when I was on the co-op, we took the first night I went to a meeting was they'd bought the Mickle elevator and the first load of grain was going into the Hensler co-op's hands, and that would be in, in, in uh, 69. I had a brother and a sister. My brother was killed in a farm accident when he was 18. 17 or 16, I quit school early, and they all looked at me and said, somebody's got to do it, and you're the guy. So that was, that was got me started down the road. My thoughts on Huron County and, and, and Blue Water, where it is today and where it was when I became mayor. Our wealth is our family and the land we've accumulated, and long as they come home, and raise their children here and support our recreation, our community, and our churches. If they will do that, we're going to have a community we can be proud of for a long time to come.